What's good with the YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real Talk Boxing, it is a privilege, an honor, and a blessing to be back at you beautiful people. Again, do not question my character. Mario, if that's your name, why you question my character, man? I don't know what you are. You may be a man, a woman, you may be a child. Mr. Contreras. Mario left an interesting comment on my video about apologizing for making a mistake in what Deontay Wilder said. Hmm. Now I thought I thought long and hard about making this video because, you know, I know some of you are gonna say real talk, you don't need to explain yourself. And for the people who understood exactly where I was coming from in that video and who gave me props for swallowing my pride and owning up to making what I feel was a mistake. I appreciate you. Ride or die. True people right there. True people right there. Now, if you didn't see my latest video on Deontay Wilder, he did an interview with Ellie Setback. Freaking Ellie. <laughs> um, reporting. Um, and, and Deontay Wilder has stated some things. Um, he was talking about Tyson Fury, of course, and then he went into the arbitration and the, the court situation, and he intertwined that with Povetkin and something he had going on with him in court, and he stated that he didn't have proof. Now, because of that, I thought he was speaking about all the allegations and excuses that he had made up against Tyson Fury and about all the proof and evidence that he had. I thought he was all of a sudden saying that uh, now I don't have any proof. And I blasted him for that. I really did. But as we all know, I had the homie and, and some other people. Actually, I saw comments first. This is what I saw. I saw harsh comments and then I seen some comments stating that, hey, man, you need to watch the video. That's not what he said. Then when I see my man Nocturnal, I was like, okay, maybe I do need to go watch this. Because I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna say anything. But I, I felt compelled to do so. So I did. Went back, reevaluated it, brought my wife in. She evaluated it with me. I saw things in a different perspective. And I said, yeah, maybe he didn't say that. I, I thought that he was talking about the allegations and the evidence that he had against Tyson Fury on him beating the brakes off him and how he cheated <laughs> in the second fight. But I don't think that that was the case. Now, a lot of people went back and saw that video because of what I was saying and said that they still got the same thing. Hey, real talk, man, we don't think you were wrong. We think that he was referring to the allegations and the lies and all that and now all of a sudden not having no proof. So, with that being said, I took that as he was speaking about Povetkin and that court date, and he was just talking about, you know, the court situation. That's how I took it, in my second opinion, which I'm entitled to. And I get this comment right here from Mr. Mario, okay? Now, in this comment, he stated a number of different things, okay? Now, your opinion, negative or not, harsh opinions, they don't bother me. Trust me. They don't. But there's, there's things in here that he said that wasn't true. Okay? And that were disrespectful. Now, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, like many people have given me the benefit of, a, of the doubt. Maybe you misinterpreted what I was saying. But just in case you didn't, let me explain something to you. Okay? This motto, respect all, fear none, that's real. This person that you see right now on this video, this is how I am, day-to-day -day life. I've explained it. It's my opinion, facts, and then respect all, fear none. And a lot, of, a lot of times people say, well, you don't stick with your motto because you disrespect. Well, when you're telling the truth or you say something that somebody doesn't like, or if it can conflicts with what somebody believes, people are going to find it disrespectful. And this may be this man's opinion, but I still find it disrespectful. And this is why. You listen to people, and I lose respect for you. 
There's no evidence against Tyson Fury. Otherwise, he would be suspended. Have I not stated that? Do, do I believe any of the allegations and lies that the LDBC community and Deontay Wilder has made up? No, I don't. I do not. My apology wasn't for that. It was for the fact that I got what he said wrong. I didn't want to falsely accuse him and what he was saying. That's the type of person I am. And then you go on to say, stick with what you believe. Don't be like DBN. If you don't know who that is, Dante's Boxing Nation. Who is a huge supporter of Deontay Wilder. I don't care. I don't mind. I got homies that's huge supporters of Deontay Wilder. You support who you want. But me and DBN, we are not the same channel. I don't support and back up lies, allegations, and propaganda. That's not what I do. I don't. So saying that, I find it very disrespectful. Then I go on to say, hey man, if you lose respect for a person who realized that they made a mistake and they apologize for that mistake, the net speaks volumes about you, Mr. Mario. Because whether or not you agree with me apologizing, the fact that I swallowed my pride, the fact that I didn't want to put anything falsely on another man, should go without saying. Respect. But no, you say this. And then we're not even done. Afterwards, you say, it's right there. You say, I didn't say that. You didn't say what? What did you not say? Because it's right there. Did I misinterpret what you were saying? Am I wrong about what you're saying? You say, I need to stick with what I say. Okay? You say that I apologized because of all the negative comments. That's why I apologize. And you're not as authentic as you say you are. And I think that's weak as AF. And we all know what that means. Don't question my character, whoever you are. This video is for you. This video is not for Deontay Wilder. It's not for a post-fight review. It's not for any other fighter out there. It's for you. So I challenge you. Post up a video of your face. Just like this. Let me see who you are. And explain to me what you mean by this. And if you still want to clown me, clown me on video. What's really wrong? Because I don't understand it. This channel does not bag up lies and propaganda, does not falsely accuse anyone. That's why I apologize to Deontay Wilder. That's why I apologize to my followers and subscribers because I didn't want to bring them content that wasn't necessarily correct. Because I don't want to say anything that is not true about anybody. That's why I apologize. I didn't apologize because there were harsh comments. If, 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 I, if that was the case, I would apologize for every video that I've made. Because there's always harsh comments. Always. Some videos more than others. Especially Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury videos. I would have to apologize for all those videos. But I'm not going to do that. Because at that point in time, in those videos, I stand by what I said. But sometimes you got to take a step back. you got to chew on it. you got to analyze it in a different direction. And that's what I did. And for you to say what you said here... I find it disrespectful, but I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to give you a chance to explain yourself. Make a video. Show me your face. Can you do that, Mario, or whoever you are? I don't know. Just my opinion. Am I wrong for this? Comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all friend and God bless. Till the next time. Real Talk Boxing, we up. We out of here. And we going to stay respecting all and fearing none. God bless.